All right, hey guys, I just wanted to give a quick update to uh, the Software Addiction Show episode one I did yesterday. Uh, I've been looking a lot into the um, international domain name homograph attack stuff I've been doing, or looking into, and um, I noticed a lot of software is still susceptible to that kind of stuff. So let's look at that. Let me just do a quick re recap for people who haven't seen the video from episode one. But basically, nowadays you can use Unicode characters that aren't just regular Latin characters in domain names. So for instance, the K in ask.com here, this is a regular Latin K, and this is not a regular Latin K, even though it looks exactly the same except for a font change but it's not it's a completely different character so w when you mouse over it it's it, down in the bottom of Firefox here it says asks.com but that's not the same thing so if you click on it, it goes to the domain name I bought which I have it set to just mere Wikipedia's ask.com page so you can see the the problem with this it it looks like ask.com but if you go to the website it's whatever I want it to be. So anyway, if um, what's supposed to happen is there's something called Punicode which will escape those URLs. So if I try the same thing in Google Chrome, if you look down in the bottom left, it's that weird XN-AS blah blah blah. And if we go to the page, it gets, you can see it's escaped. And, and it only shows for a second, but that's what it should do. And then, let's see, I think Internet Explorer also does the same thing. Surprisingly. Yeah. Oh, it was too fast, but... Yeah, see, you can see in the tab there for a second, and it shows the correct, the correct URL. Which is weird. Because this is actually a mirrored domain, but whatever. Um, that's another problem entirely. So, anyways, if I test this stuff in some other programs that aren't web browsers, it's like, what do they do? Do they have their own library for handling that? So, anyway, here's LibreOffice. Um, got an ODT file, and here's the real one. If I control hover, um, you can see it just says ask.com. And if I click, it'll open ask.com. But if I control click down here, it says ask.com, but it's not. It's it's my fake ask.com. And uh, that needs to be fixed. Here's Visual Studio, the same thing. I have ask.com and a C sharp comment. If I control click it or hover, it still says ask.com. It needs to be escaped. It does the same thing. And interestingly, when you do that, instead of opening it up in an external browser, it just uses the weird, old, really old, outdated, um, embedded Internet Explorer, which kind of works. You can see in the URL it says ask.com, but in the tab it has it escaped. So obviously they need to change it to be consistent. Let's see, what else? Oh, um... Um, and Debian 8, Debian stable, uh, GNOME version, in GNOME terminal, if I print some URLs to the standard output and then I mouse over them, it does the same thing. There's some logic there for looking at domain names. And these two aren't the same, even though they look the same. So if I right click or I shift click, it does the same thing. It opens up, opens it in Ice Weasel. Let's see. And uh, yeah, see the same problem. Ask.com. There's and there's the real one. And if you look, it's almost the same. In this particular font, it's just the the top of the K is slightly taller, but no one's gonna know that. So anyway, that's just a cool thing I've been looking at. Um, I found I've found a couple libraries that will fix this. 
but they're not really they're just kind of like experimental things someone put out there they're not something that uh someone could for instance put into a browser or or, or a mail client or whatever but and there, there's some more i need to look into there's uh, some other people talking about this kind of stuff but anyway that's a cool thing i'm gonna look into it more just wanted to see um i'll show you guys what i've been doing just this morning by looking at it but anyway i gotta go i will talk to you guys later